Okay, I'm going to show you how to do the PEX, or also called Picture Exchange Communication System. So first step, there's six steps of teaching this. The first step would be to teach the communication exchange. So on that, you would just simply teach that you put the card, the student will pick up the card, send the card to the teacher, and then the card that they get, they get the corresponding item to go with it. And right here, you would teach that many times as they give this card to you, they're going to get this, teaching them persistence of what this card means. Okay. After you've taught the persistence of it, you're going to teach discrimination. So right here I have a field size of four. So we have the TV, crayons, the truck, and they go. And on here he'll learn that it, whatever card he gets, that's what he's going to get. Discriminating against the different crowns, different card, gets a different corresponding item with it. After you've taught the discrimination on there, you'll be able to teach sentences like, I want. So the student will be able to tell you what they want. So here he told me that he wants the Legos. So then we will get the Legos for a little bit. And on here I'm going to pick them. Alright. And then after we've got that mastery down, then we can ask things like, what do you want? And the client will be able to respond by providing a card. And then he will get the TV. And that is the picture exchange communication system. Okay, so I just demonstrated the PECS, um, and this is a communication system that is best used for individuals who have limited verbal abilities or are nonverbal. It's most commonly used with those with autism spectrum disorder but it can also be used with other populations such as those with pervasive developmental disorder, not otherwise specified, Rett syndrome, and childhood disintegrative disorder. It's been most commonly used with children and started at a young age, but it's also been successful to be used with adults. Um, it's mostly used with those whose expressive language is limited and they lack a functional communication system.